dream fight, a dream matchup you would like? Huh? There's a lot out there. De dead or alive? Dead or alive? <laughs> There's a lot out there. You have Tyson Fury, you have Wilder, you have Joshua. So, I wouldn't mind I could fight one of those guys. Trust me. And I wouldn't mind I can get back in getting training camp with you sick. So, just to look, have some experience. But soon, I'm just waiting again for that call. So, so just. Were you supposed to be a sparring partner for him? Yes, I was supposed to. But it didn't work out in my favor. But How come? So, what happened is like. I didn't get my visa in time, so I couldn't get to fly in, so that's how it go. Where were you supposed to fly? Uh, in Poland. Poland. Yeah. Poland. Okay. So I'm just waiting to see if opportunity will come again, so if it come again, I'm going to take off with it this time. Have you ever been a sparring partner for anybody else that's like big up there? No, not really. Yeah. But I can't wait. To get a big sparring partner to see where my skill level at. So, so do you believe you're in that top tier with like the Usyks, the Furies, the Joshuas? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know. I know. I'm up there with them, but it's just the right time. So I'm waiting on my time to come. And when my time come, I'm going to make use of it. I'm not going to play around. <laughs> very soon. Very very soon. I know they. I know maybe they will call me back. So. I'm, I'm, I would just relax, wait until they call again. Were you excited? I was, I was super excited when I get that text. Yeah. I was super excited. I was like, holy, my dream just come true. But I didn't get to go, but everything is good. I know I'll reach out back to them when you have the next fight and see how I can get in camp with them for the next fight. So I'm just waiting on my time again, opportunity to come back. So it's it's 2023 right now. What year do you think you know you could potentially get a big fight like that against one of the bigger names? If you had to guess, maybe 2024, 2025. So, so relatively soon. Yeah, it depends how the how much I'm fighting. I'm fighting and I'm fighting often, so very soon I know that the fight will come. Do you think so I have that to keep on knock people out so they can see me? Do you think people are keeping an eye on you? Like they, they see you, they are not really. Yeah, they see me. They they see me. They watching they watching my Instagram page. They watching it. They see I'm knocking out people. They all see. From 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 all those amateur fights coming up, they all see what I do to people. I destroy people, so they watch it. And if they wasn't watching, you also couldn't reach out to me. So that means they're watching to see how I'm getting stronger, how I'm moving, so it was a joy to see people watching me. So, what does it feel like to knock somebody out? Do you feel it quite often? <laughs> uh, it's feel good. It's feel good to put somebody on the compass. It's it's a nice look when you don't have to go all all around. You just finish early, come out, go enjoy yourself. Face look good. You don't have to worry that oh my face is bruised up. I have to go to bed. So I love that people out. I love to finish my rounds early. But if you had to go to a war and have your face beaten up, you could do that. Of course. I used to that. I make I make use of those things. I never really get my face beat up still, but I I know how to go rounds. I can do rounds. I I can I can balance out myself to go to the distance. You never been knocked out before. No, never. So I don't want to get knocked out. I don't I don't interested in that. So I will always. Keep knocking people out, not giving them no chance to knock me out. So it must be hard for you in sparring, though. Everybody's probably like so scared to fight you, no? Yeah. So it's kind of <laughs> that's that's the thing. Sparring is hard, but uh, 
We're working on guys to come in and work with me, so that's how it go. But right now, it's kind of difficult to get guys on to spar with. I don't know why, but if they don't want to spar, I can't force them to. So I want to get guys in to come and spar with me. That's the greatest thing right now for me. I don't know if guys think I'm going to knock them out in sparring, but we come to spar, we spar, we just have fun. But if you come with fire, we're going to, we're going to fire up too, so that's how it go. But if you come relax, focus on boxing and learning, that's that's how the game plan go. So that's what that's what I plan to do. Once you're working with me, I'll work with you. If you're fire enough, I'm going to fire up too, because I have it. I can, I can fire up just like you. So were you always trying to be a boxer? Is that always uh, the plan? No. I stopped boxing late. I stopped boxing at what, 27, 26. I start. Yeah, when I just get my son. And how do I start boxing? <laughs> and then you went to Tokyo. Yeah. Like how quick after? Um, maybe four years after, three years after. Yeah, four years after. Was yeah. That, so was that probably like the pinnacle? Of your experience in that part of Tokyo? Yeah, that, that was a good experience. That was a good experience. It was such a joy to, to go there and see what athletes go through, but it was a good experience for me. It was very good. I have a good time. I have, I have a good fight, so I can't complain. So, besides being a boxer, if, if you could be anything else, what would you be? <laughs> I just, so my biggest thing is to turn an investor, like to buy and sell stuff, so that's my thing, yeah, that's what I love, I love to buy and sell. And I would say you probably are the best dressed at all the fights, you have the nicest suits, the green one you have is, is solid, <laughs> so like, where do you get your style from? Oh, it's salty, man where, you know, you go out to say shout out to them. Them, them bet me look clean and very looking nice coming out every time I'm fighting. So it's all in man here in Vaughn. Shout out, man. So I'm going there soon. So anybody wanna want a nice suit, just go up in Vaughn, Sarty, man here. Do you already have your uh, suit picked out for the fight, or you still gotta get it? Yeah, I still have to get it. So. Very soon I'm going to take a drive out here to go pick my suit out, get ready for September. You know, I think we have to look sharp, look nice for the people. Do you know, okay. do you know what color it's going to be? Ah, uh, it's black. All black? It's going to be all black. Nice. All black. Nothing but black this time. Okay. I can't wait to go up here and get my suit.